The natural world's always been fascinating to me. Whether I was hiking around in the hills or free diving or just looking in the tide pools, I was always interested in the animals I'd see there. You know, looking around, seeing the animals there, those experiences have influenced my work to this day. And the different animals that I saw and their lines and the textures are things that I still gravitate to in my sculpture work. My background was interesting. My dad was a, a carpenter, and so I always had a lot of different tools and things like that around. So having that, you know, it kind of led to a lot of different things with woodworking, and I always had these ideas for things I wanted to see, and I wasn't really seeing them around, and I didn't have any money to buy any of these things, so I'd just, just make them. I was lucky enough to be able to come down here, for, you know, when I was growing up, I had grandparents who lived here and, and everything, so I kept a rowboat down at the beach for, for quite a few years now, and it's, it's just being able to just come down on those nice glassy mornings and drag the boat down to the surf and launch. You know, you, you, you don't have a motor, you don't have any noise. Just the simplicity of it, there's something about that that's really liberating. And so to, to row, you know, row out on those nice, quiet, glassy mornings and to get out on the water and then tie off to the kelp or anchor somewhere, you know, and hop in and, you know, go, go looking around just free diving. There's a, there's a lot of freedom in that simplicity. Nothing's going to stop me. I'm making my way home. I'm making my way I go solo Oh, I go solo I'm making my way Oh, I'm making my way And I'm happy Nothing's going to stop me I'm making my way Oh, I'm making my way I go solo, oh, I go solo, I'm making my way home, I'm making my way. Our son Brooks is looking at the world around him and just absorbing everything that it has to offer. I can only hope that he will enjoy being out in nature and enjoy making things with his hands. He'll have a shop to come work in and to pursue whatever it is that he wants to pursue. It's an amazing thing when the piece is completed and it's on site. 
and it's there for people to enjoy. I, I build each piece to last for generations, and so it's a, it's a really wonderful feeling for me that my son could come down here and, and years from now come and visit these pieces and enjoy them for years to come.